is uh, amazing. I couldn't have asked for anything better, uh, couldn't have built anything better, and I wouldn't change a thing. Chris Bitmead works in civil engineering. Cars are a hobby that turned into a passion. The dream for me probably started when I was a kid. I, I started doing up like bicycles and stuff like that, and, and that, of course, when I was old enough, grew into cars. Shut the gate on this one, Max. It's the Ducks guts. The XB Falcon, made famous in the 70s by the movie Mad Max. Chris paid eight grand for his rusted out 1976 XB. I bought the car as a as a shell of a XB coupe. Uh, a guide started doing it up, pulled it all apart, and then given the project away. Along with a few mates, he spent the next eight years tinkering in the back shed. It is a mountain of work, I can assure you. A muscle car built in a man cave. Chris, what have you spent on this car? I actually don't know, <laughs> and I think that's a good thing. They wanted to stay true to the original shape with a smooth, modern twist. Most of the bodywork in the car and in the interior fabrication is metalwork. Uh, the exception is the boot and the bonnet, which are fibreglass. Yeah! In full swing, that bonnet standing to attention is a sight to behold. Under the hood, a 5.4 litre V8 Falcon engine with a supercharger. Inside, it's all about the leather. No cloth seats here. Taking a closer look means treading very carefully. The whole interior is leather, except for the suede inlay strip, so the roof lining is leather, the floors are leather, <laughs> and thank you for taking your shoes off. No problem. There's 30 metres of hand stitching. Who do you love more, Chris, your car or your wife? Oh, definitely my wife, uh, because she's the one that puts up with me with these insane hobbies. Hi, my name's Chris Pittmead and I'm from Planet Insane. Are you ready? Chris recently unveiled his masterpiece to the Americans at Detroit Autorama. It's like the Oscars of car shows. I've never seen one like this, that's for sure. It's just one of the most magnificent automobiles, if you want to call it that, more like artwork. It was the first non-American car to feature in the top eight only losing out to a $4 million Oldsmobile. We're uh, doing quite well for a home-built car to be able to compete with something like that. You guys have stepped things up to another level. Getting the X-Boss to the US was quite a mission. So this is how you got it there? It certainly is. A specially fitted out sea container for the precious cargo. This one is custom built to make sure that the car arrived there looking as good as what it did when it left. The 22,000 kilometre trip took eight weeks each way. Which is quite harrowing from, you know, you build a car like this and it's part of your life and then you, you hand it to someone to say, uh, you know, transport it to the other side of the world and fingers crossed hope everything's OK. Incredibly, the ex-boss is yet to hit the road. Chris has to keep it looking schmick for the Aussie car shows, including one at the Claremont Showgrounds in six weeks. You must be hanging to get out there and hit the open road. Oh, one day, yeah, all in good time. <laughs> it took me eight years to build it, so I've got You're good patience. patience. <laughs> As for what it's worth, that's anyone's guess. These cars are like art, um, so it's really worth what someone's willing to pay for it. So, Is it up for sale? It's, it's not up for sale, uh, but, I mean, yeah, money talks. 